Yo, what's up guys? I'm Mario Cardona. Thank you so much for joining me today in the studio. Today we're going to be taking a look at music theory and sort of the basics of it and how you can use it to up your production skills. Okay, so music theory is basically the knowledge of key signature, time signature, and rhythmic timing of a song. And today we're going to be taking a special look at key signature. Okay, so what is a key signature? In most, if not all, songs, there underlies a chord progression that all the instruments and vocalists follow stay in sync and stay in the same key thus you hear the terms like a minor that song is in d minor that song is in a flat minor etc etc so today i'm going to teach you how to find a minor scale and we're going to be taking a look at c minor in particular because that's one of my personal favorites but to start things off i'm going to show you the difference between a half step and a whole step on the piano because in order to find a minor scale you need to use whole steps and half steps to know the difference so a half step is when a note is right next to another note. So for instance, this is a half step. And a whole step is when there's a note separating the two notes. So this is a whole step. Half step, whole step. Half step, whole step. Okay, so the formula for the minor scale would be root, which is your root note. And in C minor, you take a wild guess, the root note would be C because, well, that's the name of the chord, that's the name of the scale, it makes sense, right? So let's start on the root note. Whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole, whole. So the formula again is root, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. And that's the formula for finding a minor scale. So for C minor, the notes that are going to work is C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, and B flat. Now that we found out which notes go in C minor, what we're going to do is use that knowledge to start writing a chord progression. And once you memorize the notes, it becomes really easy to improvise chord progressions but um what i'm going to recommend you do is check out a chord generator online and basically what you'll do is you go on the website and you type in um a key signature like d minor and it'll automatically create four chords in d minor for you to play and loop and that's something i did for the first few years of making music so it's very helpful and i'll advise you to go over there um, but today for this video these are the four chords that i came up with Okay, so now that I have those chords written, I'm going to go ahead and record them into my DAW. Now that we got the chords written down, now we can improvise in C minor and we can find different instruments and different synthesizers to record with, and it's all it's all fun and games from there, but again, in 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 most, if not all, music, it'll, there has there has to be a chord progression. That's just the way it is. So now that I got this chord progression recorded, um, I'm gonna improvise in C minor and come up with some melodies. So if you'll remember which notes work, it was C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, back to C. So with that knowledge, I'm just gonna play those notes in random order and get some cool melodies started.
Okay, so that's pretty much a live demonstration of being able to have the freedom to improvise and play whatever you hear in your head because you're in the right scale, you've memorized which notes are in that scale and go with that chord progression. So it pretty much opens up a lot of doors musically. Alright guys, so those are the basics of key signature when it comes to music theory. Um, so for practice, I'm going to challenge you to write your own song in D minor. And I'll highly recommend to go to this chord generator, type in D minor and have it generate those four chords for you. And then you'll be able to play melodies and bass lines or whatever um, in that scale. Eventually you'll memorize the notes and the scales and you'll be able to improvise and play whatever comes to your head and eventually write your own chords. Um, but for now, this is great practice to start your music theory, key signature skills, and hopefully you'll build from there. I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please pass it along, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll have some more content for you very soon. Peace out.